Hello beautiful people! Today we're doing a tutorial with the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. I've been wanting to use this palette lately, you know, with everything going on with her new palettes, I want to jump into this one. So, I'm going to use this color, I believe it's called Jada, but I love this color so much. But I did notice my um, concealer was creasing a little bit, so I had to smooth that out before I go in. I'm kind of out of breath right now because I'm in a lot of pain, but we're going to just take this random flat eyeshadow brush. I think I got this from like an Amazon set very, very long ago. Did that make sense? <laughs> but anyways, we're going to make like a halo effect with this color and I've noticed that just packing it on, I didn't want to fast forward too much because I wanted to sit and talk with you guys. Um, I really, really want to start posting three times a week. I just gotta figure it out. Like, I've been thinking about maybe posting Sunday, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. I'm gonna really try to make that work. But yes, you're just gonna go back and forth adding, packing this in, and just blending it out. I am using a Morphe brush now. This is the Morphe M330. No, I just lied. I just lied. That's the Morphe M433, my bad. But I just wanted to blend this out up there. And whenever you blend, just remember that we're going to have to pack on more of that first color. I don't know what to call this color. It's like an aqua green blue color, but it's matte. And I know it kind of looks patchy right now, but trust me, it's all going to come together once everything is is completed but I definitely want to start using this palette more and what I'm gonna to try to do is maybe once a month do a tutorial on this palette using different colors now we're gonna go ahead and take this duochrome eyeshadow I freaking love this eyeshadow and this is gonna be the brush from the vintage cosmetics company and this is the step 3 go girl go brush and I'm just packing that on right in the middle right there so pretty it has like um, a little bit of gold in it and also like aqua blue in it as well it's such a beautiful duochrome I love it so much so so much but now I'm just you know all we have to go back and forth back and forth but yeah I'm gonna really try my best to upload three times a week and hopefully I can make that happen fingers crossed now I'm gonna go ahead and take this deep color right here. It's like a burnt red, very deep. And I'm using the Morphe M330 brush. And I wanna add that all into the crease. After watching this video, I think I learned a lesson because when I'm doing this part right here, you can tell that my lid shade is coming off because of all the blending. And then I'm gonna have to go back in. I think I would have saved a lot more time if I did the crease color first and then started packing on that color for my lid but you know or I'm being a little bit difficult right here but this part I didn't want to speed up just so that you could see how long I do blend because I want it to look very very nice but honestly these shadows are bomb like they're so bomb they are easy to blend it's not like they're forming an ugly color or anything that's what I don't like about palettes when they start making their own colors and you're like what what is this what is happening you know what I'm saying I hope y'all know what I'm saying <laughs> but definitely gonna get on it to try to film more I really do enjoy this and I hope you guys enjoy as well and now we're going back over with that lip co color the matte one because like I said a lot of it was blended out due to me adding that crease shade I'm thinking if I would have did the crease shade first, it would have looked a lot better. Or not looked a lot better, but I wouldn't have to pack on so much color again and again, if that makes sense. Hopefully I'm making sense. I don't know. And now what I decided to do is pack on the duochrome 
that we used for a center with my finger because it gave it so much more payoff. I know a lot of people wet their brushes, but for some reason when I'm getting ready, I don't ever think to do that. I just will go with my finger. Now we're gonna go ahead and highlight the brow bone with this color right here. And we're using the Olimard um, Cosmetics. What is this, a flat painter brush? Yeah, the flat painter brush. And just blend, lots of blending, girl. Got to blend your life away. But I really did like this look. And see, on this side, I was like, ooh, it's looking a little, I don't know, like the crease color was coming onto it. Did that make any type of sense? Like the crease color was getting onto my lid. So I need to go back and make everything pop again because I do love these shadows. and I, But I want them to be very vibrant. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know what I'm saying. But you guys, oh my gosh, we made it to 160. Well, I know it's a, over 160 now, but I was like so excited because I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I'm about to be at 150. And now I have completely passed that. I'm like 160. That is so crazy to me. And I know people are like, girl, calm down. That ain't nothing. But still, that is so crazy. So now we're going to take this deep green it is so deep and we're going to also use another Olimar cosmetics brush this is the flat tight liner brush and we're just going to add that right there on the liner where it's supposed to be but it's like a really deep forest green and i can't wait to use that color like on my lid somehow this palette there's so many things you can do it's just you know sometimes where you just sit there and you're looking at a palette and nothing comes to you I really have to have something come to me where I'm like, okay, I'm inspired. I'm going to make this happen. But I went to go do my makeup, my face makeup, and we're adding in um, that first color that we used, the matte color, that aqua blue on the waterline. I know this kind of took a little while because I want it to be precise and sometimes I struggle with my waterline because I always get eyeshadow in my eye but this time I'm proud of myself it didn't happen Ooh. yes and now we are gonna take a morphe pencil crease brush and we're gonna go into that deep burnt um, brown red color that we used at the top we're gonna also add that in but I really did like this look a lot, a lot, a lot. I can't wait to use it again and show y'all more looks with the palette. I'm debating on if I want her new vault that she did with Morphe. Those four little palettes that are $15 each. I'm still debating because I'm not even going to lie, you guys. Every time I watch a video, I'm like, is it good or not? Nah? Because I'm confused. And my mascara that we use, as always, is going to be the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. And I put some lashes on that I bought from the beauty supply store. And this is our final look, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you so much to all of you who have been supporting my channel and commenting and liking. You guys are so awesome. Be awesome. Stay awesome all day, er day. And please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and click that bell so you never miss a video by me and so I don't get lost in YouTube. <laughs> but thank you again. You guys are awesome. Peace up, A-Town, down to the ground. Peace out, homies.